Hello everybody, this is Rashton. You are welcome to today's class. As promised, this is the video on lead generation, which is one of the topics that was posted on the WhatsApp channel. And majority chose lead generation as the first. And that is what we are discussing today. If you feel I'm too slow or I'm too fast, kindly go to the settings and either increase or decrease the speed as you wish. If you have any question, please put it down in the comment section. I, prom I promise to go through them and respond as required. Let's get started. Okay. So these are the things you should expect from me. We are going to have various videos on lead generation. I'm going to break them into various segments because I don't want the videos to be too long in order for you not to be overwhelmed. So we have the email lead generation, the Instagram lead generation, the LinkedIn lead generation, the phone numbers. We'll talk about some of the extensions you are going to use. I'll teach you how to use and manage Google Sheet because this is mostly what the client is going to expect you to be using. Then for those that are using phone, I did my research, I paid some money, I, you know, I sacrificed my time in order to make you all feel included. Majority of the things we are going to be talking about, you'll be able to use either your laptop or your mobile phone. What we are doing right now, I'll be using my laptop. I still need you to follow along and listen because what I'll be showing you and the phone users video is basically how to install all those soft, all those extensions. It's still going to be the same process of walking through. So it is important for you to follow this video. Then I'm going to show you the last video, which is how to search and bid for jobs on Upwork. The objectives at the end of this presentation, you should be able to understand the word freelancing and discuss the various freelance platforms that we have. So that when you are in the midst of freelancers and they are mentioning some particular things, you should be able to understand what they are talking about. You should understand what we mean by lead generation and the importance of lead generation. The various terms that you are going to come across as a lead generation specialist or consultant. You should understand the various method of payment because the essence of learning this skill is to earn remotely. So what is the point of earning without being able to get the money out? So it is important for you to know the various payment options you can use to get your money after working. We'll look at the potential clients. Who are those you are going to be looking for? Who are those that will actually need your service? We'll look at the potential income. How much can you earn as a lead generation specialist or as a freelancer generally? We'll look at the processes involved in generating leads and where do you get these leads this leads that we are actually talking about, after which we'll talk about the necessary tools that you need in order to execute these skills, these skills successfully. We'll look at the practical aspects of the theoretical aspect that we have done. Then we'll go into the life example so that we understand that what we are talking about is not story. These are life clients looking for people to execute their jobs. And then we are going to round it off with Capstone, capstone project, which is very important for you to do as you're going to be uploading all these as previous work done while you are setting up your profile on your Upwork or Fiverr or any other freelance platform of your choice. How do you make money online? Now, this is a question that people ask. I want to make money. How do I make money online? Now, there are various ways of making money online. I'm pointing out four here. The first one is to sell a product. You can sell a physical product or make it digital or information, what we call information marketing. Now, physical products in the sense that I have a bag, I have a shoe that I want to sell. You get clients online or offline, but we are talking about online. You get clients online. They pay you, you send them their product. Or you make it digital. You have ebooks, you have information you want to sell, you can package it as a form of PDF and sell it. It is digital and it is information marketing. 
So that is one way. Or you can render service. Lead generation, what we are learning now, I'm teaching you how to, how to be a lead generation specialist. You are going to render that service. Somebody can tell you, I need you to generate leads for me. You want to render that service. Look at this one. I got this job from Upwork. I want you to see this. This person is looking for a lead scraping instructor, which is also what we are learning, lead generation. This is another title they use. I need someone to teach me how to scrape 1,000s of USA roofing contractor leads with emails, and they must be qualified. You will have to make me a Loom video showing how to scrape and qualify quickly, and, and then I will pay you. Now, this person does not need your service as a lead generation specialist. He doesn't want you to scrape the leads for him. Rather, he wants you to teach him how to scrape it. What I'm doing right now. I am teaching you for free. Now, this person is saying, come and teach me and I will pay. This is one of the things, information. You're selling that information to this person. He wants to pay you $30, which is how much? 30,000 Naira. One dollar is about 1,300, but let's just fix it at. Let's just fix it at 1,000 Naira. This person is willing to pay you 30,000 Naira just to show him how to scrape leads. You don't even need all this theory that me, I'm going to show you. By the time you get to the practical aspect, you will understand what this person is asking you to do. Teach me how to scrape and I'll pay you 30,000 Naira. Sharp. Something you can teach him in how many minutes and you get your money. The third one is fraud. If you don't sell a product, if you don't render service, what you want to do is fraud. 419 Yahoo Yahoo. And the third, the fourth one is corporate begging. Okay, well, me, I don't have strength for uh, fraud, though, but I get suit for corporate begging. Urgent 2K. Commenting on that various comments, writing on that various posts, putting this, you know. But I, be, I want to believe that all of us that we are online with Rashdown's group and all of us watching this video right now, we should either fall. In the first category that is selling a product physical or digital or rendering services please stay away from number three and number four as a form of introduction freelancing is a contract based remote employment when you say remote it means it is flexible you can work from anywhere in the world. You can work from your room. You can work from your kitchen, from your bathroom, <laughs> on the beach. You can work and it is flexible. And it can go on for as long as you want, weeks, months, years. For instance, the work I'm doing, it's, I think I started 2022. Yeah, 2022. It's almost two years that I've started this job. So you can decide to do it for just a few weeks and say, oh, I'm done a few months or few years it depends on you so you have that flexibility of working as a freelancer so most freelance work are remote based jobs we have various freelance platforms personally the one i'm actually using right now is upwork.com and that is what i'm going to be showing you i have accounts with fiverr i have accounts with linkedin i think i have with indeed also but what i'm using majorly is upwork.com so we have all these various freelance platform indeed remote thousands of them out there but the one i'm using is upwork.com and that is what i'm going to be showing you i will also show you fiverr just to get examples of jobs on fiverr but every other i, I will show you linkedin because we are going to talk about linkedin generation every other one you can actually just check them out if you wish I talked about various payment platform, platforms that when you work, you have to get your money. Now, I don't know about every other African country, but I know about Nigeria that we can't get our money directly into our local bank account from Upwork because of the CBN rule, right? So we have all these third party companies that are willing to help us execute this transaction. So we have thousands of them. But here I'm showing you gray.co, Payoneer, and GeekPay. Personally, this is the one I'm using, GeekPay, GeekPay Africa. It's for African countries. So um, Upwork is going to pay you, right? The client will pay you into Upwork. 
the upwork will now pay you into whatever third party company's account you have already put on uh, attached to your profile then from there they will pay you into your local bank account for instance i'm using gt bank upwork pays me into geek pay geek pay will pay directly into my gt account and the good thing about this is that they are using black market rates so if you are making 500 dollars at the rate of one thousand dollar one thousand naira per dollar geek pay will send you your 500k complete if you are making just ten dollars geek pay will send you your ten thousand naira right so that is the interesting part of it they are not using the official rate or cbn rate they are using the black market whatever dollar is from their bulky black market that is what they will use for you so let me show you how to go about their registration i won't go into details i will just show you the site show you where to click then you proceed because i have accounts with all these people i have accounts with gray i have with pioneer i have with gig but i don't use pioneer because it's kind of stressful for me you know and from the comments from my colleagues it's like, i don't know so I, I don't use them then for gray.co when i open the account they were having issues with their usd account i think they're still having issues with it but they are they are giving you the british pound and euro ball. when i saw gig pay i felt like oh, they, they have everything let me just stick to it and i don't have any problem with them so that is what i'm using aha uh -huh. let's see let me just okay let me gray i'm going to put all this link i'll put in i'll put them below the video i will also put them on the whatsapp group as well as well as the telegram channel so you can access all these links they don't don't be bothered you have access to them so this is it here control view yeah then you, because i have account i'm supposed to log in but i'm not logging i just want to show you this is get started it's free it's just let me let me click on my highlighters in order for you to see it okay this is it here this is it here press any one i click on get started this is it what country do you live in you just you should click whatever country you are from you click on it then you continue that is that about that one let's go to the second one which is pioneer Control c Control v enter look at it here we have sign in if you have an account you sign in if you don't have an account this is register click on register and you click on register it says freelancer or service provider online seller marketplace we are freelancers right so this is the one i'm going to click on and you click on it i'm looking to just read through and answer the question it's very simple to open your account that is that about that one we'll go to the third one which is my own my own gig big gig pay africa control v okay if you have account you click on login if you don't have account you click on create account you see here i am a freelancer you click on i am a freelancer then you continue and answer all the questions as requested so that is that about opening your payment account now we can move on to the next slide now lead generation what's lead generation we are hearing lead generation what does it mean it is just a way of getting potential customers for a product or a service. If I have products I'm selling, of course I need customers. I'm not getting customers. I can meet you as a lead generation consultant to please help me generate all these customers, which we are calling leads. I need you to help me generate these leads. So I want customers. So you as the consultant, we have your own way of generating all these leads and give me whatever it is i asked you if i asked you for their email address if i asked you for their phone numbers if i asked you for their website for the company name whatever i ask you you should be able to generate it if you can then you give it to me and i will continue with what i want to do with those information so that is basically what lead generation is the importance of lead generation is basically to make more sales as a business owner you want to make sales either you are selling product or you are rendering services you want to make sales so you need all these leads to make your sales and meet your target and that is why you need a service of a lead generation 
consultant. Now you know the meaning of lead generation and the importance of lead generation. We'll move on to the next one. We have various titles. By the time we go into Upwork and we start checking the jobs available, you will understand this better. We have various titles. Sometimes you will see lead generation consultant, you see lead generation specialist, data entry consultant, because we are generating leads. We are practically entering data, which you are going to see. We are entering data, we are formatting data, we are cleaning data, we are doing all these things, data, data, data. So you can see all these titles there. Don't be thinking, oh, all I'm looking for is lead generation consultant. And you'll be seeing jobs that are saying, we want data entry consultant. You'll be like, ah, this is not me. By the time we go, you see web scraper. We are basically doing web scraping. All this I'm going to show you as you move ahead, as we proceed in the presentation. I just need you to pay attention and pause the video, move a little bit back, reduce the speed if you have to. Just do everything that's going to make you understand what I'm saying perfectly, okay? Compete with yourself. Don't compete with any other person. Focus. You are going to earn. Learn and you will earn. But if you don't want to learn, I don't know how you are going to earn, no. Don't learn the hard way. Uh -huh. So we have executive virtual assistant with specialty in lead generation and various titles we are going to come across as we proceed. Okay. So we now talk about the requirements. What are the, what are the things you need? What is going to make you a qualified lead generation consultant or specialist? The first thing is the skill. And this is why we are here. This is what I'm teaching you. At the end of this presentation, you're already a lead generation consultant, right? So that is the skill. That is the first thing you need. And that is why we are here. You should be able to do research. If I'm asking you to generate me leads, of course, you are going to need to do the research to get the lead. How do you do this research? I'm going to teach you. Good internet connection. Oh, I cannot talk about this more than this. This is going to frustrate you if you don't have good internet connection. So you should understand when your internet is good, if it is at night, if it is midnight, if it is in the morning, afternoon, just make sure you have your good internet connection that will make your work flow very, very good and less stressful. You need a laptop or a smartphone. I understand majority don't have laptops there. Yeah, you can still use your phone. I've made my research. I've made the sacrifice to make sure about 80 or 90% of what I'm going to be teaching you today, you'll be able to do it with your mobile phone. However, I need to let you know that it is much more easier to use the laptop because of the large surface area, right? Laptop is big. It has wide screen. It's a big screen. It makes the work easier. So if you earn your first salary, you have promised me. Hold your year like they say, I promise. Say, Rash, done. I promise I will buy laptop after my first salary. Uh -huh. So if you earn your first $100, that is about $100,000. Get small laptop, $50,000, $70,000. This is not the time to go and buy a shoe or bag or change your phone. Mm -mm. Right now, laptop is more important. So once you earn your first salary, if you cannot afford laptop right now, make sure after your first salary, you get a laptop so it will make the work easy for you. Take this as a business. Make it easy for yourself, okay? Communication. You should be able to communicate in whatever language it is you are using. As a Nigerian, of course, English it is our first language, Abi. That is what you are going to use on Oppo. Cannot be speaking Yoruba on Oppo, except the service you are rendering is Yoruba to talk. Uh -huh. But if you want to just do the normal, normal job, then English is very important. If you are French, you, of course, you should know how to speak the language. Whatever language it is you want to use, make sure you can do that in the basic form. Email account is very important because the majority of these clients are going to communicate to you with you via the email. It is very easy to open. Let me go. And show you whatever it is I'm saying and try as much as possible to show you example. Just go to gmail.com. Then because I've logged in, let me just uh let me add another account. Create an account. If you go to gmail.com, eh, you will see create if you have to create an account, you just click on let me take my highlighter. Where are you? You see create accounts, create this create account. Then she so asks if it is for personal use, child, or for work. It's personal use. Then you, you open it. That's the way you open your Gmail account. It's very simple. Don't go and pay anybody to open an account for you. Mm -hmm. So that is that on opening account. So it is important for you to have Gmail account. 
Google Doc or Google Sheet, MS Word. Google Doc is like MS Word. Google Sheet is like Excel, right? So it is important for you. It is important for you to understand how to use Google Doc and Google Sheets, right? I'm going to show you how to do that also. Foreign bank account, that's what I talked about, about open your the various payment platform, either GeekPay, either Gray or Payoneer. They are going to give you the foreign bank account, USD, British, British Pound, and um, Euro, whichever one you want, you choose. Various terms, talk about various terms. We have the MQL, we have the SysQL, we have what we call the PQL, code calling, warm calling. Let me start with code calling. Code emailing, code messaging, it's also called outbound. Now, when you say code calling, it means you are sending messages to people you don't even know. You, you don't know them, they don't know you. They don't know anything about you. For example, I have a company called Rashden Pharmaceutical Industry. You just re receive a message like from your text, a text message, please buy paracetamol from Rashton Pharmaceutical Industry. And you'll be like, who is Rashton Pharmaceutical Industry? You don't know me. I saw, I sent you the email or uh, the message. You have received messages from MTN, people advertising, and you'll be wondering how did they get my number. That's why you now go and put your number on do not disturb. This is because these people got your lead. They got the lead, which is your own number. They got it from these network providers. They bought all the numbers, right? And they sent a bulk, bulk SMS. And that's why you're getting the messages. That is code calling, code messaging. You don't know them, they don't know you, all they have is your number, and they're advertising their products to you. That is code messaging. Before I got the admission for my PhD, I sent a code email to my supervisor. I don't know him. Somebody just sent me his email address. Send a code email. Code email because I don't even know him, he doesn't know me. So I just introduced myself and told him, oh, I would love to work in your lab. That is code emailing. You don't know them. You're advertising something to people you don't know. You might be scrolling through, through Instagram and you just see an advert. That is a code, code marketing. Because they did code marketing. You're seeing the advert for the first time. You don't know them. That is code message. Now, warm one is what's called the inbound. Warm in the sense that they're already aware of it. If I'm sending you a message on the 1st of January 2024 about Rashida Pharmaceutical Industry, and I'm sending you a message again on the 15th of January 2024 about Rajdan Pharmaceutical Industry. It is no longer cold because I sent you the message earlier. You are now, uh, you've heard about me. You've heard about Rajdan Pharmaceutical Industry. Now I'm sending you a second message. It is no longer cold. It is now warm because you've heard about me. So if somebody has bought products from you before, maybe a client bought product from you in January 2022, you already have the details and contact details of the person. In 2024, you are sending mail, general mail, to all these clients that have been on your customer list. It is no longer cold calling. This is called warm calling because they are aware of what you are doing. They are aware of your company and all this, all those stuff. Okay, so that is different between cold and warm calling. Now let's talk about marketing qualified leads, sales qualified lead. I'm not using SQL because I don't want you to mix it up with the. SQL of coding and programming. So this is sales qualified leads and product qualified lead. If I have a product, I want to sell a product and I'm sending messages to 100 people. I've sent out the 100 messages. And 30 of those 100, they are showing interest that, oh, I would love to buy this product. They are just showing interest. Maybe I said, if you are interested, put in your phone number. Do you understand this better when we are talking about sales funnel? So this is, this is more explained when we talk about sales funnel in another video okay so 30 of them showed interest that oh we love this and out of those 30 only five actually patronize you and in order to make you understand this better let me tell you about what happened to me i bought a course recently i think december i bought a course about book interior design because i'm into amazon kdp publishing right so i wanted to design i want to be able to design my book interior so that it's going to be very beautiful right i now bought this course i think i bought the course for is it five thousand or ten thousand i'm not sure 
after buying the course, I studied the course, then I started putting into practice what I learned. I designed a book interior. I posted it on the group created by the course tutor. Of course, my colleagues were like, ah, this is beautiful, this is beautiful. Then I posted it on another group of KDP publishers. And people started saying, Rashton, how did you do this? They started asking me questions. I was responding to the questions. Then the course tutor sent me a private message that, oh, why don't you get your affiliate link? I said, ah, yeah, I don't know how to do this affiliate link. Oh, I don't like selling things, so I cannot be looking for course. I said, no. The way they are asking you questions, if you want to tell them about the course, use your affiliate link. And when they buy the course through your link, I will give you a certain percentage without increasing the price of the course. So I bought the course for 5,000 Naira. Yes, 5,000 Naira. And he said, these people are also going to... I bought it for 10,000 Naira, I think, yeah. And he said, these people are also going to buy it for this particular rate. There's even discount. There's 50% discount now. And if they buy it for 5,000 Naira or 10,000 Naira, I will give you 40%. I'm willing to give you 40%. So instead of me keeping the whole thing, because you had one... Eh, marketing my product i will give you this percentage i said hey, i've not done affiliate marketing before he said just try it and it generated my link for me and what did i do i posted this link on the group within a few minutes i realized almost 100 people clicked the link already that is marketing qualified list they did not buy you they just clicked the link after a few minutes again, I went to refresh my dashboard. I realized about six people bought the, the books already. But before they bought it, some of them, about five or six, I can't remember, sent me a message on WhatsApp asking that, Rashton, are you sure this person is legit? Are you sure this book worth it? Are you sure we are going to be able to do this thing that you did? Are you sure, you know, asking various questions. I said, yes, I bought the book. I'm not marketing for him. This is what I did. Everything I am showing you, I learned from this course. And this is, this is it. Okay. When I went to refresh, I realized about six or seven people bought the course. I don't know the seven people that bought. I'm not sure if it is those that sent messages to me or those that did not even reach out to me. But at the end of the day, I realized about 100 people were marketing qualified leads. I don't know the number of sales qualified leads because not, I can't say... Only the six people that showed interest, I can say, okay, let me say six qualified leads because they reached out to me. But some people did not even reach out and went straight to buy the product. At the end of the day, I got some people that bought the product. Let me go and check my dashboard now and let's see what we have here. The last time I checked, about seven people or eight people bought and I had about, you know, they bought for 5,000 era. I was making two five. Two five times eight. How much is that? I don't know, Matt. Calculate it. About 12,000 or 13,000, more than 10,000 in Russia, but less than 15,000 in Russia. Then, let me go and check today. Let's check it together. Are you seller? This is seller, seller.co. Let me log in. Okay, so let me, let me click on view. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is interesting. This is the name of the merchant, which is Graphics UG. This is the book I bought. You can see 40% commission. He said it was going to be giving me 40% commission. This is the affiliate link that was given to me. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Marketing qualified lead. This is our marketing qualified lead. As you can see from here, we have 182 people, v 182 views, meaning 182 people actually clicked on this link. So this is our marketing qualified lead. They clicked on this link that I posted, which is my affiliate link. I'm seeing 182 here. Now, how many people bought? How many people bought? From here, I can see 16. Remember, the last time I checked, there were about six or seven. Now, look at it. I have six. You might be thinking, ah, I sent 100 messages. Only one person bought. My sister, my brother. This, that is the way it works. Right? You don't expect that you have 100 people, the 100 people will now, will now buy. No. By the time we talk about sales funnel, you see how you can actually optimize your sales funnel so that you have more product qualifying leads. Now, I didn't do anything extra. I didn't optimize anything. My own is just post, you know, because the person said, just post. I just posted. I was not even posting. I just posted once. And look at it. 182 views. Clicked. 182 people clicked this link. And out of them, look at 16 people bought in Naira. Now I have that 1,400. I didn't even know. 
When they say you, when you are sleeping, you be any money. This is what they mean. I didn't even know. I didn't even check. This person is not in Nigeria. This person is using British pound. British pound. Why am I saying British? British British pound. Uh -huh. This person is using pounds. Probably in UK, two point eight pounds, right? This is it. Now, when you are saying rational doing giveaway, <laughs> I have multiple streams of income. I love to give. I derive joy when I give. I don't give because I have. I be done good, you know. I give because I know what it means and what it feels not to have. It gives me joy when I give you and I be like, oh, Rashta, thank you. I was able to eat. I was able to feed my baby. I was able to buy this thing that I wanted to buy. You know, I derive joy in giving and I give the glory to God. So that's why I have to work hard because it's like I love buying expensive, like expensive, don't let me say expensive things. Like if you love to buy expensive things like gold, diamond, you have to work hard now if you don't want to do fraud. So like I'm now I'm doing affiliate marketing with this person. This is the only thing I'm doing. Then I'm doing my upwork. I'm doing Amazon KDP. I'm doing this. I'm doing I have different things I'm doing. So you must have having multiple sources of income now. Is not is is a necessity. Oh, not be just flex. It is important now because one source of income. No, if you do anything with everything that is going on in the world. So while you are earning from here, you are earning from here. If I don't get money, I don't go feed do give away Abby. So that's why I'm working super hard. So look at this one. I'm happy. Oh, uh -uh. I'm rich. Oh, that's 1,400 or oh, more. Let me go and buy land in Banana Island. <laughs> so that is that. I just, I'm just showing you what we mean by the marketing qualified leads. And this one are the product qualified leads because they eventually bought the product. I hope you understand. Do you understand? Good. Let's move on. Sorry if I'm too slow or if I'm too fast though. Make sure you reduce or speed it. So, okay. Let's continue. I hope I'm not saying so, so, so. I think I have a syndrome called so, S-O, so. I don't know. How many times have I said so now? You people should pardon me. I'll, I'll, I'll visit the hospital. They should help me. <laughs> I'm trying my best to stop using the fillers. So, 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 so. Okay, let's move on. This is where we are. Right. Potential clients. Where do you get these clients? Now, social media, businesses. You get them on Upwork. You get them on Fiverr, on all those platforms. Potential income. How much can you earn? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, unlimited. There is no cap to how much you can earn. I've, sh I've been sharing my own screenshots of a withdrawal. Abby, maybe it's only the new people in the group that have not been seeing my screen. I've, st I've stopped. Because anytime I post like this, billing go choke. <laughs> I won't use billing, kill me. So, but once in a while, I'll be posting, but I've stopped for you. We can say I've not been posting for a while. I told you about the lady. She got a job. She's in Port Harcourt. I told you I got my own job while I was in Yanopaja, Lagos. She got a job, $2,500 um, $2, every month. So, she's, she's using um, gig pay. And they're paying her $2.5 million every month. No cap. You know me, I will not give you Zobo. I'm giving you real facts. Let's go and check up work now to see how much you can earn and see that it is unlimited depending on the way you can negotiate. We have some that are fixed price. Somebody will tell you, I have this job for you. I'm willing to pay you a fixed price of $300, non-negotiable. Somebody will tell you, I'm willing to pay you higher. Some will tell you, oh, I want the lowest price. Some will tell you, I'm willing to pay you $3 per hour. Some will tell you I'm willing to pay you $10 per hour, $500 per hour, depending on. You, let's just go there. Let me leave story. Let's go to Upwork. Live, direct. This is my Upwork account. As you can see, this is, let me pick my lighter. This is Rashid at E is for Elisha, Executive Virtual Assistant. My profile is complete. I'm going to show you all this one in another video. Why we are here is just to show you the potential income. So I don't want us to mix it up. Let's just go. Let's go, let's go. Um, let, I just want to show you income. I'm not looking for a particular job. I just want to show you how much you can earn. Look at this one. This one says $100 to $40 per hour. This is hourly. This person is willing to pay you between $10 and $40 per hour. And he says, I am willing to pay higher rates for the most experienced freelancers. Meaning, 
if you are if you if you are sure say you know your onion if you sure say you know your onions you share a dialogue you you bid for it and tell the person you want fifty dollar or sixty dollar per hour he has already said it that i'm willing to pay higher if you are sure of your work you 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 bid and you go for higher price. or you stick to whatever it is that is here imagine somebody paying you ten dollar per hour and you are working even half time this one says more than thirty dollar per hour. more than thirty hours per week this is a full-time job meaning you can work 40 hours imagine earning ten dollar per hour 40 hours per week do the maths at the rate of 1000 naira per dollar 10 dollar is 10000 naira 10000 naira times 40 is how much hmm? let's let's bring out calculator where's calculator no not this one let's look for calculator that you will know this is to encourage you because I know some people, if they if they no see amounts, they no go do. Let's look at calculate. Let's do, let's do ten thousand. This is ten thousand times forty. This is four hundred thousand naira. This remember, he says forty dollar, ten to forty you, and this person is willing to pay higher, but we are using the lowest one. This is four hundred thousand naira. Upwork will remove their will remove their ten percent. What is ten percent of four hundred thousand naira minus forty forty thousand naira? You will collect your three hundred and sixty thousand naira from the comfort of your every week. This is every week, oh. Remember, it is 40, 40 hours per week. This is every week, because every week Upwork will pay you your money. Upwork will send you a message that review your this thing. every week. They will send you that message. Your money will be there. Your money will be the upwork will send you the message that every week your money go and check your summary. Go and check your summary. Once you receive that mail, it is money. Now this is a ten dollar per hour for every week. Forty dollars per hour. This is four hundred thousand. Multiply it by four. And you are telling me some people will be telling me it's not possible to earn this. Hour. What do you mean it's not possible? If you are not, if you don't know, you don't know. Times four. This is it. No, what's this? This let me go back. This is four hundred thousand, right? Every week times four. How much is that? One two three. One two three. One point six million naira every month from the comfort. And you are saying, <laughs> don't play. Oh, this job was posted fifty minutes ago. Don't play. Don't play. I'm not capping. You know, say I no go give you cap. I know they cap. Rashton will give you facts at the end from Upwork. If I know the end, I'm not going to do give you. I don't show now. Proof. No be. This one no be Zobo. Eh uh -huh. People will know me personal, personal. No say, eh uh -huh. <laughs> We cannot talk too much. This is, we are using the lowest. Now imagine you got the one, for, you the, the clients agreed to pay you $40. You know, go faint if you do the math. Eh? This is real. Don't think because I'm teaching you for free. You now say, this is real. Let's go. Let's check another one. Let's check another one. Let me click on this one. This one is willing to pay fixed price for this particular job. So if you are interested, you do. If you are not interested, you leave it and let it go. Play, job, work plenty. If you see a price and you feel, I don't want, go, leave it alone and move on. This one is saying, this is a fixed price. This is not per hour. Fixed price, I'm willing to pay you. Quickly do this thing for me. You will scribe the audio from 144 44 Instagram posts, blah, blah, blah. $10. If, ah, this money is too small for this job. We'll leave it and move on. Don't kill yourself. I am willing to pay higher rate. He's willing to pay higher rate. But if you are not interested, let it go. Let's move on. L to make it interesting, because we are talking about lead generation, let's look at lead generation O. Experts to build funnel. Remember, I talked about funnel. But let me just hiring agencies, appointment setters, blah blah blah. I'm looking for the one because I don't want to make you, make you confused. I want to, I want the one that will carry that lead generation. Go 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 go. Ah, lead uh, lead mobile phone numbers for construction. This person actually wants you. We are going to do all this thing. How to generate mobile numbers? 
this person wants you to generate phone numbers of mob uh, construction let me click on it look at it look at what this person said this is interesting this job was posted when look at this <laughs> you remember i said on the group that if you know n i want no way to cause her if you know n i want no way to cause her ah, why is this one now come out now i want the highlighter okay no, but i want the square look at this this job was supposed to oh wow this box box no one do okay let's use circle like that look at this this job was posted when this is live as you can see this job was posted two minutes ago two minutes ago this job was posted two minutes ago and it is worldwide by the time I'm, I make the video on how to get job on Upwork, I'm going to explain all this one. But remember why we are here is to look, at the, look for the potential income, which is unlimited, as I mentioned. Now, posted two minutes ago, worldwide means anybody can apply. It's not restricted. Fixed price. The person said, I am looking to see if there is a way to obtain mobile phone numbers for contract managers, project managers, site supervisors, site managers, Blah blah. Let me let me even screenshot this. In fact, though I've already prepared my slide, what I want to use for you, but I think let me screenshot this and we can try look for this particular job and do it. Let me capture it. I've captured it. Now, what is the price? This one wants to pay fifty dollars fixed. Fifty. Look at it. This one's fixed price. So this one wants to pay fifty thousand. If you can just quickly generate this one after after we are we are done with this class, you see that this this thing that this person is asking now, na na pure water, na pure water. We go do sharp sharp sharp, collect your money. This thing where this client ask na pure water. By the time we are done, you will see it. I'm not making out. But before they will say rush done. Ah, oh rush done. We are ginger too much. Yeah, ginger energy day. <laughs> So that is that. Let's look at another one. Let's see another one. Let's see. And let's go back. Let's see another job. Let's, I'm just trying to let you know that what you can earn is unlimited. It is unlimited. This is $200 fixed price. You do the job, get your $200 fixed price. This is 200000 naira. One job, one time. Fixed price. This let's go again. Let's go down two hundred dollar again. Let's scroll down. This is five dollar to twenty five dollar per hour. Remember, we, we if, if just imagine say now twenty five dollar you you can't get say the client say we we'll go give you. This is per week. Look at it. This one says less than thirty hours per week. This is mostly um part-time so maybe 20 hours but you, can, you will not be able to do 40 hours per week for this one when you see more than 30 hours then most likely full-time but when you see like that maybe part-time is 40 hours per week and uh, 20 hours per week full is 40 hours now let's say you are getting this one 25 dollar for 20 hours per week 25 dollar times 20. no we need to convert it to naira. 25 dollar times see Go back twenty five dollar times one thousand is how much twenty five thousand naira, right? That is what you are earning per hour. Multiply it twenty hours per week because it's part time. You are getting your five hundred thousand naira per week. Multiply it by four. You are getting your two million naira. Two million naira. And somebody is saying it's not possible to <laughs> okay dead year two million era up work will go come out their 10 percent initially they were removing when i started they were taking off 20 percent but now they decided to be taking out 10 percent so more money for us when they come out their twenty thousand what is two uh, two hundred thousand what is twenty ten percent of two million should be two hundred thousand 
you get your 1.8 million naira inside your pocket inside your house if you know end say i don't know i want no way to go cost him. i want no way to go cost him. so that's enough enough of this let's move on <laughs> you have seen the potential income so it is unlimited if you continue like this we will not finish so you don't do let's move on let's move on to the next thing on the on our slideshow so that is that now you have seen every other thing we've talked about now what is the process okay rush done ah oh rush done my head won't bust let's start now you don't do yes now what is the process of generating lead now this is the process of generating lead the first thing is to identify your target market a client is telling you i need the lead of key stores stores in lagos where they are selling children clothes lagos nigeria you must understand your market, your target, the niche, the what you are looking for, the lead you are going to generate. The client said, I want stores in Lagos. You must don't go and look for stores in Kano or stores in Kaduna. The client says in Nigeria, don't go and be looking for UK, England, America, Australia, Malawi, Ethiopia. Focus on what the client has asked. You saying kids wear, don't go and look for adult wears. Whatever the client has asked, make sure you focus on that. So that is the way you identify your target market is whatever your client says. Get the required details as requested by the as requested by the client. If the client is saying, I need the name, the website, the phone number, the email address, that is what you are going to get. Don't go and get Instagram and do. If the client did not say get Instagram and do. Don't go and get Facebook ID if the client did not ask. But if the client says, get me everything you can get, it is different. Build a list. After getting all these things, this is where you're going to be needing your Google Sheets, Google Doc, which I'm going to show you how to do all this. You verify, you have to verify the details, particularly the email. It is important for you to verify because of what we call the bounce rate. There's something we call bounce rate in email, right? It is called bounce rate. Bounce rate. Because... Bounce rate means the number of mail, mail, mails, emails. But right? when you send emails, some will not be delivered, some will get delivered. So if the bounce rate is too high, the higher the bounce rate, it means if you are sending 100 mails and you have 70% bounce, bounce rate, meaning only 30, 30 deliver. And that is not good. You are going to be wasting your client's money and you will lose that job. And they can even ask for a refund because they will tell you what you are giving them is fake lead you are generating. So please, especially for emails, I'm going to show you how to do all these things. And I try it as much as possible because majority of these softwares, extensions are paid. I did my research to look for the free one. By the time you now start making money, you should invest in your business. This is business for you. By the time you start making money, you have to invest in your business and get all these paid ones so that you can actually improve your business. But for now, the free one will still get you what you need to get started. Okay, now bounce. If my email is, if my email is silent cash eighty eight at gmail dot com, and maybe while you are typing, you now made a mistake of removing one eight. You now wrote silent cash eight at gmail dot com because silent cash eight at gmail dot com does not exist. The email will not be delivered. It will bounce back. So meanwhile, your clients will be thinking all these mails are verified. So when time you, it is important for you to verify this. When you do your verification, it will remove this one from it. It will let you know that ah, this one does not exist. Oh, this one is wrong. Oh. And that is the importance of verifying your lead before you send it to your client. All this, I'm going to show you. Or so you can make mistake of right, removing one I, G M A L. You know, typo error. It happens, but it's important for you to. Check all these things before you send to your client. Do you understand? Say yes, Rashton. Do you understand? <laughs> okay, let's go on. I hope you are enjoying yourself. I don't want you to be bored, though. Right? Like that. Okay. So, yes. Then, after verification, you will now import a CSV. Remember, I told you, some clients will tell, depending on, pay attention to whatever your client says. Your client says, okay, please help me save it as Google Doc, Google Sheet, uh, Excel, CSV. Make sure you save it, whatever it is your client asked. Okay, then you clean your data. I'm going to show you how to clean your data. 
then you send to your clients and you earn your money. Are we good? Okay, let's move on. What is the next thing? We have to get your list. We have talked about this social media, social media, social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, all those stuff. How do we get this lead? It is through web scraping. We have various extensions. Like I said, we have paid, we have free. Everything I'll be showing you is free extensions. So these are some of them. As we move ahead, I'm going to show you how to use them. I'm going to put all these links. You have access to all these links, so don't stress yourself. So, 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 please take your mind off the soul. I'm working on it. <laughs> yes, we are here. We are getting to the fun part. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Stretch your body, stretch your body, stand up, stretch, jump, go and take a cup of cold zobo, cold ice water, cold uh, mineral, cold juice, eat pounded yam. <laughs> All right, now we are moving to the fun part. This is the fun part. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, because this video is already too long, this is 51 minutes, I would love to stop this here and I will see you in the next video video moving on to the next video we are starting the life practical of everything we have said theoretically we are going to put them into practice in the next video don't snooze if you snooze you do what you lose this is rashton of washington mother of the helpless signing out bye <laughs> all right see you in the next video